friends do you want to automate validation of gst number and legal names in bulk in one click so this tutorial i am going to use razor pace publicly available gst and search facility and automate it using excel's power query to validate this go to my screen i have an excel file with name of few of my vendors and their gst number which i have entered in my erp and basically i want to validate whether these gst numbers are correctly entered or maybe i have swapped or some incorrect numbers are there okay so basically i will go to google search and search for this website which can quickly assist me so razor pay gst and search okay let me open this okay manually how would you to do so i will go here and copy paste this gst number okay and hit search okay so razor pay gst api gives me uh, this legal name of this business okay now basically i want to automate this step instead of doing it manually for this four to five vendors so how do we do it let me show you okay i will close this tab again and again open it then i would press f12 to open up debugger window okay from here and go to a tab called network here okay and here just put a filter on fetch or xhr so we just want to check the url <coughs> which uh, razor pit would generate when i uh, enter any gst number and hits the search button okay so i already copied this number i will just paste it here and i would keep on clearing other requests okay because i want to hit exact request okay so we'll just hit search okay now probably this this was the request which actually fetched this okay let me click here okay now one thing to automate this you need to ensure that only the request method where get is there you can only automate this okay and this is the url which razor pay is using okay so last part of this url is dynamic so it is basically gst number okay so i will copy it and try to hit this url uh, from power query in excel okay so i will go to file a, a fresh workbook go to data okay and i would launch power query editor and let me hit this url from power query so right click go to new query other sources web okay and just paste this url here and hit okay so first time you would get this window just hit connect okay now this uh basically it is in json okay razor pay has written json format uh, okay so i need to dig into this json okay by clicking here online provider details so there is some record here and legal name okay so i will again click here inside the record okay so this is the legal name which i was looking into which razor pay was displaying on its website okay now i i want to just convert this to value okay basically this is in record format so you can see the icon and here now i want to just keep this value so i can right click here and click drill down so that only textual value okay now only textual value remains so abc comes here that means only textual value okay and now basically i want to convert this piece of thing into automatable okay into automated thing so i'll go to home okay and go to advanced editor okay now i will convert this to power query function okay so i will press enter okay braces and this power query function requires gst number as input okay so gstn so let's name this parameter or variable 
as GSTN as so this is textual parameter and this function would again return back a textual value okay okay like this I will convert this to function okay now this will create a variable called GSTN okay now I can simply erase this static or hardcoded GST number and I, I can concatenate it with the GSTN which I am getting as a parameter okay and finally this function would return back the legal name okay so I am basically dynamically preparing this URL okay and I will press done okay now this gets converted to function okay let's name this function something called fx gstn legal name okay fx gstn legal name so this is a power query function which can take any input of gst number and return back it legal name by hitting the razor pay gstn search url okay okay now i want to import the list of my GST numbers okay so I will right click here new query and I will fetch this list from excel file okay. and I will say use first row as header okay so my vendor list okay this is my vendor list Okay, now I want to add a column called legal name, which is dynamic. So I will go to add column. Okay. And invoke column in the form of custom function. Okay. So column name is legal name. Okay. Legal name. And which function to invoke? So this affects GST and legal name. Okay. And I have to give something as input. So I basically I, have to, I need to give GST number as an input to this legal name function. Okay, GST name. And then I will press OK. So this warning would come here. Just ignore it. Let's see what happens. So basically it is one by one going and invoking the URL. Okay. Okay. So we got the uh, this legal name. And now this probably Google India, this GST number is incorrect for Google India. Okay. So I will add a step to replace error with blank. Okay. Re replace error with blank so replace all the errors with value as null that means blank okay now i can simply close and load this list so that it becomes automated okay okay so you can save this workbook so that you can always reuse this and what you have to do, you have to just keep on adding vendor names and their GST numbers in this Excel file. And then once you add it, just go here and click refresh all. Okay, in data, you can just press refresh all with new vendor name and their GST number. Okay. Friends, one thing you need to ensure that you are not misusing this facility by firing and validating thousands of GST numbers. Okay, so ensure that you are doing it with only handful of GST number at a time. Okay, so if you like this technique, please do like the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel.